Hey everyone, and today I'll be covering what it's like using ExpressVPN on Android. Now the nice thing here is that the app looks and works almost exactly the same as it does on a Windows PC, so if you're already familiar with ExpressVPN on desktop, the experience will feel very natural on mobile as well. That consistency is a huge plus, because it means you can switch between devices without having to relearn how things work. And once you've downloaded the app, it's as simple as choosing a location from the list, say Canada for example, and then tapping the big power button to connect. When you're done, just tap it again to disconnect. So the overall setup is very quick and beginner friendly. And just as a quick reminder, if you do decide to try ExpressVPN, you'll find links in the description with any current discounts available. So moving on to the features, ExpressVPN on Android gives you the same core options that you'll find on desktop. First is the kill switch, which makes sure that if the VPN connection ever drops unexpectedly, your internet connection is cut off until the VPN reconnects. This is an important safeguard because it ensures your data is only ever sent through the encrypted VPN tunnel. You also get split tunneling, which lets you choose which apps use the VPN and which don't. For example, you might want to route your streaming app through ExpressVPN, but keep your banking app outside of it. It's a really useful way to customize your experience, especially if you don't need every app going through the VPN. Another useful feature that you get with Express is its advanced protection. It runs quietly in the background and automatically blocks trackers, ads, and sites known to host malware. It doesn't require any extra steps from you, and I'd definitely recommend leaving it enabled since it gives you an extra layer of protection without slowing anything down. And then for protocols, ExpressVPN gives you several of the same options that are available on PC, including their lightweight protocol, which is designed to be both faster and more reliable on mobile devices, and their latest WireGuard protocol, which is one of the fastest in the industry. Some of the options do differ compared to iOS, but overall, you're still getting a strong lineup of protocols to work with. Now, in terms of what you can actually use Express VPN for, streaming is a big one. Whether you want to access Netflix, Hulu, or other services, Express has consistently been one of the most reliable VPNs for getting around those geo restrictions. Speeds on Android hold up well enough to stream in high quality without buffering. Torrenting is also supported across all servers, so you don't have to worry about restrictions or needing special server types. Combined with the kill switch, this makes torrenting on Android both safe and straightforward. And then, for everyday protection, ExpressVPN is one of the best options for staying secure on public Wi-Fi. So if you're at a coffee shop, an airport, or anywhere else where the network may not be trustworthy, Express keeps your data fully encrypted in the background. Finally, ExpressVPN remains one of the few providers that still works well in countries with heavy censorship. So if you're traveling or living somewhere with restrictions, Express can help you maintain open internet access without interruption. So hopefully you found this review helpful, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up as I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop those in the comments below since I always enjoy answering as many as I can. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.